सो स्पाइडरमैन रीमास्टर गॉड ऑफिशियल ए एम डी एफ एस आर थ्री पॉइंट वन फ्रेम जनरेशन अपडेट फॉर ऑल द जी पी यूज एंड इफ यू वन नो डेट वॉट इज गोइंग टू हैपन वेन वी गोइंग टू अनेबल फ्रेम जनरेशन ऑन एन जी टी एक्स जी पी यू सो हेयर वी गो वी क्लिक ऑन ए एम डी एफ एस आर थ्री फ्रेम जनरेशन हेड अप्लाई एंड बाय बाय यू कैन सी द गेम जस्ट क्रैश एंड दैट्स हाउ दिस अपडेट इज कम्प्लीटली ब्रोकन ऑन द जी टी एक्स जी पी यूज and we can fix this thing simply by using the uni scaler mode by the luke fz so today in this video i'm going to show you how we can basically fix this problem by using the fsr 3.1 mode by luke fz so you can first of all download the mode for free from my discord server you can find the link in the description box so here we go so the mode is uni scaler 10 so first of all open the main game directory of your game to install the amd fsr 3.1 mode here is the main directory and then open the uni scaler 10 extract the uni scaler 10. zip and first of all copy these three files uni scaler.asi and this copy and paste inside this spiderman remaster directory paste it then we will need in the stub nvngs folder copy enable signature overdrive dot reg inside the main game folder and paste it here and then simply copy the uni scaler folder as whole simply copy the entire folder copy and paste inside the main game folder simply here and once pasted we have to double click on enable signature overdrive dot trick simply click here apply and it's done now we can now we have to open the game once like simply click here and we have to wait to to open the game for one time we have to open the game for one time then quit then quit the game and then you can see we got a new file here which is called uniscalar config.toml and this is very important otherwise we are going to getting crashed every time here so so here inside the config config file here of this mode first of all we have to go here in the upscaler tab where it's showing fsr 3.1 and we simply have to just simply cut it cut the amd fsr 3 and type none n o n e we are not going to use the fsr from the mode because the game already got fsr 3 which is good we only need the frame generation to be working and here what we have to do here one thing which is very important you can see ignore in game frame rate toggle ignore in game frame rate toggle and you have to click true just simply click here true and that's all we can we are good here and if you are using any kind of other gpu than nvidia amd or intel you can enable fake nvidia gpu to true simply set this to true and you can enable fake n nv aip results if you are facing crashing issues for some reason and that's all simply save the config file and now we can load our game so now inside the game here comes a very important setting that we must have to do in order to get frame generation working without crashing and it's we have to choose only and only xcss option as upscaler don't select amd fsr dlss or any other thing rather than xc xcss otherwise the game will crash in the same way and don't turn on the frame generation because we have already turned on the frame generation in the config.toml file and you can select other graphic settings as your hardware specification without any problems and that's all but make sure to select only and only xcss otherwise you will meet the same fate as before and you can see there is little bit or some kind of like ui glitches here but you have to compromise a little bit if you want to get these high frame rates without any problems on even on weaker okay. gpus and there will be some ui glitches as i already told so yeah that's all for this tutorial and i hope this was helpful if this was subscribe to the channel and that's all thanks for watching and bye
driving around in stolen vehicles. Nearest officer, please proceed to Manhattanville. I'm flying pretty close to blind. I ought to look for towers to activate. 